uh, the James Webb Space Telescope, the most powerful space telescope ever built, has recently turned its attention towards a globular cluster located 28,000 light years away from Earth in the constellation of Sagittarius. This uh, cluster known as NGC 6440 is situated close to the heart of the galaxy and has previously been studied by the Hubble Space Telescope. Hubble's capture of NGC 6440 revealed a dense concentration of stars, uh, but Webb's greater sensitivity has allowed for even more stars to be observed within the cluster. And globular clusters are spherical groupings of up to um, a million stars that were all formed around the same time in the same stellar nursery. These clusters are held together by gravity with the density of stars increasing towards the center. Uh, NGC 6440 is a high mass and metal rich globular cluster and Webb's new observations have shown a variation in the abundance of helium and oxygen among the stars within the cluster. This is the first time that that such variations have been observed in a globular cluster. The telescope's observations were part of a campaign to investigate the pulsars within the cluster. Pulsars are the highly magnetized, rapidly rotating cores of uh, dead stars known as neutron stars. They emit uh, beams of radiation from their poles, uh, making them appear as cosmic lighthouses. Some pulsars can rotate at incredible speeds, uh, with the fastest pulsar ever recorded spinning at 716 rotations per second. Uh, in theory, uh, pulsars can rotate even faster before they break apart or start losing energy. Overall, Webb's observations of NGC 6440 have provided valuable insights into the dynamics and composition of globular clusters, as well as the fascinating world of pulsars within these stellar formations.